let's talk a little bit. We didn't. We, Dan, I'm going to ask you to talk a tiny bit about international co-production and where that's possible. Just if we can touch on that, and then Karim, I want to move on to you and ask you a little bit more about the public television system and where are there doorways for filmmakers to find money, and then we'll move on from there. Dan. So international co-production generally means uh, finding what's known as a pre-sale or a co-production deal in Europe. What that means is that you go out to potential buyers who are the commissioning editors who bring projects in for networks overseas, and you get them to give you money up front before the film is done in return for a license, of the f of the, a license for the film for a set period of time in their territory when the film is completed. So, for example, you could go to the BBC or Channel 4 in the UK, you could go to um, ZDF or Arte in France and Germany, um, and uh, depending upon, you know, w one of the things that you need in order to make a presale very typically is you need a producer in that territory. Less so in England, absolutely in France and Germany. And so if you have a film that you think might make sense for that part of the world, one thing that you need to do is find a production partner in that part of the world who is uh, who's from that country, and then you also need to find either going through them or or on your own, a sales agent who can help approach that buyer at that territory to sell them your film. So an example is um, if you have a film that you think makes sense in France, you want to find a company that's made similar kinds of films, you can do research online to find that, or you want to go to uh, an international sales agent um, or even another American producer who's done this before and have them introduce you to these commissioning editors. Another way of doing it is to go to the places where these folks tend to congregate to look for projects. That's um, IDFA, the International Documentary Festival Amsterdam, something called the Forum, where people pitch projects. That's Hot Docs, which is the same kind of forum at a, uh, the Toronto Documentary Forum at Hot Docs. That's Sheffield, which is another pitching forum. That's um, uh, the IFP's uh, uh, Independent Filmmaker Week uh, in New York in September and try and find these folks. And I think that if, it's, if you have a project that is compelling to them and you can find the right partner, you can unlock significant sums of money, much more than you could selling the film. So for example, uh, in France, you could theoretically get $250,000 to $300,000 with a French partner doing significant work in France so that it justifies them giving you that money in return just for the French television license for that film. These deals are complicated. You need to have someone who's done it before to get it done, but, um, but these are possibilities. If you sell a film in these markets at the end of the process, you're talking about you know, a quarter to a third um, or even less uh, of that same amount of money that you get for selling the film at the end of the process. Before you do any of this stuff, get a good attorney. Um, it's really complicated deals and, and the structuring, uh, whether it's um, investment capital, whether it's a pre-sale, whether it's uh, angel investment grants, any of it, you, you really need somebody who understands how the money's going to flow back um, because you want to be a filmmaker and, and focused on creatively what you're doing and there's a lot of management involved here and, and you want to be protected. 